Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, here today to bring you my loadout from the 2019 Tactical Games down in Florida at JTAC Ranch. We'll go ahead, start with the bottom, work our way up. Out there, I was running these right here. These are the Limbs Trailhead version 2.0, basically a wider version of the original Trailhead that they released. I wore these for the first time, pretty much unboxed them and ran them in South Carolina, did a good job. They, again, did a good job for me out there, down in Florida. There wasn't a time where I was like, ah, oh, man, I really wish I had a jungle boot on right now, or pretty much any boot for that matter. None of that stuff, in my experience, requires that. These worked perfectly good for me throughout the entire thing. Then we have this. Boom, tracksuit, Adidas Trio 19, both the top, as well as the bottom right here. These are awesome. So, quick story. When I was originally going to run the first Tactical Games back in North Carolina, I was going to run it in a tracksuit. I have the original Superstar tracksuit, which is like 100% polyester. Like, it better be really cold or you're going to probably be a heat casualty. And at the last minute, Recoil was like, you know what, Brownells is title sponsor. I don't know if they would appreciate you running a tracksuit, so I ended up wearing other clothes. But finally came full circle, ended up running this. This Trio 19 tracksuit, I will say, it's like moisture wicking. It's more of like a performance layer than like the original like warm up starter tracksuit. And it did great for me out there. One thing, depending on what you're running, is there's no belt loops. So if you're smart, you just wear a fanny pack holster and then alleviate the issue. Otherwise, I don't know, you gotta figure out a workaround. Well, I know there's some people that are like, oh man, you're obviously not taking this serious. Well, first of all, no, it's a game, literally in the name, tactical games. Go out there and have fun. And secondly, there have been more people killed in combat by people wearing track suits than ATACs or Cryptex combined, so yeah. Rounding out the whole tracksuit experience, rock this the entire time. On the back, it says King Ice. I will say, I'm actually really impressed with this. Got this, like, I don't know, 12 bucks off Amazon, you know, for full effect, and it is still in one piece. Like, low crawling, climbing up over stuff, picking things up, holding them against my chest, like, yeah, pretty legit. As far as eye pro, I rocked a old pair of Oakleys I have, prescription lenses, and then for the stage that surprisingly went late and into the evening, I ended up running clear lenses. These guys right here, these are the Smith Director Elite, did a good job for me, and then ear pro, ran these guys again, these are the Surefire EP4, I believe they are. They do a good job. I will say sometimes they won't seal for whatever reason. Usually it's in my left ear. And you basically just kind of have to twist this guy forward. So this piece kind of wedges in good. And yeah, do a good job. Still being able to hear periphery stuff, commands, whatever, but not getting permanent hearing loss. Because I wasn't running a traditional belt setup and didn't have a means of transporting magazines and wanted to keep it real, I opted for this. Basically this little duffel bag. And what I did was drew all my magazines out of it and then used it as a dump pouch. Pretty much kept it slung over my shoulder, cross body. And to make things easier on myself, I ended up actually measuring out this dimension about eight inches and basically stenciled it out with some wings on it, cut it out of cardboard and then measured this dimension and cut a piece again out of cardboard and then another end cap. So when I got there, I would packed all these pieces flat inside my bag. When I got there, pulled them out, had one of my buddies help me duct tape them together and put it in here. And it was basically a form that kept this thing more or less rigid, like with its actual expanded shape, made it really easy for carrying things and dumping magazines back into course, when it was time to fly home, tore all that stuff out, threw it away. For a holster, obviously now we're in a belt, boom. Leather fanny pack holster. Thing was legit. 
probably still a little bit of JTAG Ranch in here. But uh, up front here, I kept my magazines in there. Again, didn't really have mag pouches. Worked out good though, kept them all in here. Also in here, I'd keep my ear pro, which was handy because at one point I forgot to put it in. Made it almost a firing line, pulled it out, threw it in real quick. Uh, quick note on magazines too. Special thanks to Adam, if you're unfamiliar, he's one of the authors over at TFB. Awesome guy. He let me borrow some magazines because mine hadn't came in yet. So special thanks there. Appreciate it. It was clutch. For this, basically I'd go up, unzip it here, opens up, boom, draw my pistol out. Pretty sweet holster setup. Did this help me? Absolutely not. Incredibly slow, like painfully slow to draw out and reholster, but still pretty legit. For my pistol, rock this cute little guy. Sig P365 XL. Basically a subcompact pistol. Did it work? You know what? I made this thing work. Absolutely not ideal for this, in part, like it has carry sights, so thick, big tritium inserts, which are really nice. Like say, when there's low light at about seven yards, but when you're looking out at about 50 yards, target's looking pretty small on top of this front sight. But I think one of the stages where we were shooting at 50 yards, I think I got on like maybe my second shot or something like that. And yeah, no, I, I mean, it's a pistol and it works. Ideal for this setup, or the tactical games, no. Ideal for my sweet setup where I have a fanny pack holster, this fits, so yeah, it was awesome. For a long gun, I was shooting this guy right here. This is the Arsenal Inc. SLR 106, chambered in 5.56. I actually borrowed this guy from Mike, Mr. Guns and Gear. Really appreciate it, thank you very much. I don't even own an AK, haven't used them in a long time, and I, at one point, I got totally ate up on my magazine change, because I'm like, ah, there's nowhere, can't be that extreme of an angle. Yes, it is that extreme of an angle. But um, this thing, it did a really good job. I hate AK sights, all of them. I think they're terrible. Any of these ladder style sights, not my favorite. And fortunately, this is actually with the mount on here, this aim point is co-witnessed, or the sights rather are like, like lower eighth or something like that. Like they're at the very bottom. And there was one stage where we had to shoot elites or elite division had to shoot irons only. And you can see them through there, if just barely. And so I was like, man, I haven't really shot these sights. So I basically just played with the ladder until I co-witnessed it with the dot, turned the dot off, ran it. I think I dropped like, I don't know, three rounds on that stage or something. I was actually really stoked because hadn't shot those irons before. But no, all in all, this thing did a really good job for me. On it too, I threw a Lunar Concepts contour sling, get them over at Wiseman Company. Good sling, I do appreciate the fact that you can mount it to anything. You can put QDs on here if you want, or with an AK, pretty much just run the webbing through the different sections and boom, you got your sling on there. Comfortable, easy to carry, easy to adjust, did a good job for me, whether I just had to have this thing slung because I was climbing a rope, running, going over obstacle course, things along those lines, but yeah, this thing did a good job for me. One of the requirements for the tactical games is to have a 15 pound plate carrier for men. And I wore this right here. This is the Spiritus Systems LV-119. Just a slick plate carrier, really well designed. I do like basically the cummerbund design. One, there's flexibility and stretch in it. Some shot cord where it's hidden in the back. Allows basically the cummerbund to move with you when you start breathing heavy. And also you can insert mags in the sides. Really nice. One of the stages, I only needed one rifle mag, so I just shoved it in there rather than having to carry my little duffel bag. And then, yeah, back nice and clean, little Velcro field. Had my BMO patch. That was the Spiritus Systems SHOT Show patch for 2019. But overall, pretty rad little carrier. For ammo out there, with my pistol, I shot SIG's 365 ammo, 115 grain full metal jacket. Stuff did great. 
no issues whatsoever and yeah shot really smooth through that and then for my rifle only the best gorilla 223 69 grain sierra match kings boom i uh, yeah this stuff actually worked really well i shot a group before i headed out here's that group right here basically confirming zero this was on paper at 200 yards with that aim point so i was like damn pretty legit and granted there's that one flyer but i also ended up using this lucas kept everything lubricated definitely saw some guns go down one because they weren't shooting ak's and two obviously because they didn't have a sweet fanny pack holster keeping all the sand out all those exposed holsters yeah some people ended up with some pretty nasty malfunctions but between this ammo and this lube everything was running good for me having said all that brings us to arguably the last two most important pieces of gear one ghetto blaster made for sears in japan things rad whether rocking out to Beastie Boys or just to change it up, maybe a little bit of, I don't know, some ZZ Top. Thing was pretty clutch. But we probably stole the show is this right here. Thermarest Z Fold. So I've actually reviewed this before. Thing's great. Came in handy two different ways. One, wrapped up my Ghetto Blaster in it so it didn't get busted by TSA and all the luggage handlers flying out there but two yeah so when you have like over five hours between battles at the tactical games boom unfold this thing nap time super key that right there wraps up my loadout from the 2019 tactical games over at JTAC ranch down in Florida what can I say about all this gear it did not help me. Pretty much everything made it more difficult, but you know what? It was fun. It was a good experience just running stuff I was not familiar with. And all that said and done, still came in 19th out of the 31 elite competitors. Although the first time they calculated the scores, I came in 11th. So what's to say if they didn't calculate them again? Basically I move eight spots in the other direction come in third place in elite who knows no judgment but ended up running this stuff and it was fun and that's what it's about out there just going and having a good time and largely what made it fun was honestly all my friends i was out there with to include new ones that i ended up meeting there just overall i had a good time with the people that were there but as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time